Hello, it's Ash and welcome to my channel. I'm here to help your quads out in this quad stretch release. It's for runners, but also if you've just got, if you're a walker or if you're a gym goer and you've got tight quads and you need a good stretch, a good release, we're gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna start on our knees and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna step our right foot forwards and we're gonna keep our head over our pelvis and our foot wants to be out in front of the knee so that we're gonna lunge into this. We're gonna go hands to the hips, Make sure the left knee feels comfortable as we do this. We don't want pain. As we go through this at all times, make sure we don't ever push into pain. If you've got a thigh strain at the moment, make sure you, again, or a hip flexor strain, make sure we're never pushing into pain with this. Hands to the hips, and what we're gonna do, push that right knee forwards and sink into a lunge. Try and keep your head over the pelvis so your head doesn't reach forwards as you do that. We should feel that stretch at the, going from the left thigh into the top of the left thigh where the hip flexors are and then we'll push strongly back, head over the head over the pelvis and the knee, and we're gonna lunge and massage with that now. So slowly coming down and coming back up. Keep the shoulders and the jaw relaxed, and just continue to do that in a nice, smooth, even paced movement. And breathe. So it's really easy to hold excessive tension as we move into something that feels quite stretchy. The body braces, but if we use the breathing, it signals to the central nervous system, so the brain-body connection to, it's okay, it's okay, just chill out, just release, it's okay, I know what I'm doing, sends those messages. Okay, so again, just kind of warming and massaging up that area into the quads and the hip flexors, and then pushing back this time, step the right foot back, Feel the difference between the left and the right quads as you've done that now. You can feel that one feels obviously lighter and more stretched than the other. Step the left foot forwards. Again, the foot is just out in front of the knee so we can lunge into it. Hands to the hips. Make the right knee comfortable if you need to. And then push that left knee forwards. Keep the head over the pelvis. Open up into the right quads, right hip flexors, and then push back. So you're lunging down and then pushing back to the start. Again, breathing and moving as you do this. Keep this front foot nice and flat all the way through this. And notice what difference you get on the left side compared to the right side in terms of sensation. Tightness, discomfort. Okay, nearly there. And then coming back up, step the left foot in. We're gonna bring it down. Just notice before we do notice the difference now in that stretchy feeling. How nice does that feel? I'm gonna bring your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips roughly, but just take the knees that little bit further back now from underneath the hips. And then from here, rock backwards with the hips towards the heels and then come forward, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. We're going to lunge again, that right hip down in towards the floor so we feel that stretch at the top of, the, of, of going into the thigh area, so the quads, and then going into the top of the thigh, the hip flexors. Push the hips down into the floor and then just release the hips backwards. So you push the hips down, have a nice good stretch into that thigh and hip flexor area, and then release it. If you're not getting that, you could take the knee further backwards so you've got a really deep stretch. If it's too intense, bring the knee closer to the hands. So that's how you can modify it. Keep breathing and massaging with that now. Try and keep the elbows and the shoulders and the jaw soft as you breathe. A nice, slow, pulsy massage. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna to start to lift the right foot up, make sure the right knee feels safe. And then with the left hand, we're gonna take hold of that foot. If you can't get that hand, I'm gonna, you can't get the foot into the hand, I'm gonna show you a modification in a moment. But if you are here, let's carry on going, pushing that right hip into the floor and then massaging back up. Push the hip into the floor and massage back up. So you're pulsing really slowly. Again, have the mindset of being kind. Don't ever push into pain. Don't judge your body against my body. Your body is different to my body. It doesn't have to look exactly the same and just carry on pulsing and breathing with that. What you could do as a modification is get a blanket and then rest that, that right knee into the blanket, get the foot up the wall 
and then step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Okay, so there you go. And you get the, the knee closer to the wall for more intensity or bringing it away from the wall for less intense. Okay, so wherever you are, just carry on pulsing nice and slowly with that. Now, so that's how you can modify it. Again, make sure we're breathing all the way through. We're signaling to the body that it's time to just open up a little bit. But also that nice recovery mindset. We're balancing out the intensity of our run, the intensity of our everyday life. It's quite stressful. We go from one thing to the other, so we have a bit of space to time to breathe. Okay, and then release the right foot, step the left foot backwards, or come off the wall. Have a little bit of a wiggle and feel how intense that was. But just notice how nice and stretchy it was. Okay, we're gonna step the right foot to the outside of the right hand now as we come forwards, and lunge that left hip down in the floor. So we're not going into that hip flexor two, that increased hip flexor one just yet. So take that knee backwards for more intensity, or bring it forwards for, to lowering the intensity. Push the hips into the floor, and then send the hips backwards. So you're massaging really slowly with that slow dynamic stretch. Again, into the quads, into the hip flexors. So the quads and hip flexors obviously are working together. And so close to each other, that if we can have a good stretch of both of those areas, we're gonna release a lot of tension and tightness. So keep breathing as we move. Unfortunately, our everyday movement patterns and sitting a lot, it shortens our hip flexors and quads because we, we tend to sit on chairs at 90 degree angles. So this is why this can feel quite an intense stretch. Okay, so we're gonna go knee into the wall if you need to do the modification, or if you can, you're gonna lift that left foot up and take hold of the left foot with the right hand. And then again, slowly pulse that left hip down into the floor. Don't go too aggressive, have that healing mindset again, that recovery and kindness to your body. We do enough intense harshness for our body, so let's help it. So slowly pulse and massage as you breathe. Trying to keep the jaw relaxed, facial muscles soft. Nice and easy with the breathing. And getting that really good release for the quads and the hip flexors. Okay, one more breath in. And then just release the foot nice and slowly. Come down onto your front now. Have a little bit of a move around and wiggle. And then we're gonna get comfortable with either the forehead or the side of the head to the mat. And then we're gonna bring the left foot into the left hand. Gonna get a really good stretch into the quads now, a really good release, release. Pull the heel into the hip and then release. Heel into the hip and then release. Just slowly pulse with that and breathe. So nice and easy, pulling the heel into the hip, good stretch, and then release it. Notice the sensations in the quads. Okay, last one. Release and switch. Go to the right. Again, pull the heel in. Find that good stretch in the quads, and then release it. Again, nice dynamic massage is a really good way to just signal to the body into it's okay to release it's okay to open up and if we breathe we can effectively retrain our central nervous system's perception of where we are tight or where our limit is okay nearly there and then just release again nice and slowly and just slowly start to bring yourself up onto your bum and then bring the legs out in front. And then what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna bring the right foot into the left inner thigh. Just to get comfortable, it's just it can relax. And we're gonna get a good squish of this left quadricep area to get a good release. So like a toothpaste tube, imagine you're starting from the hip flexor area at the top of the thigh. Thumbs are gonna work the way down 
the insides of the, the quadriceps muscles, so the, the inside of the knee. And then you're gonna go the middle of the quadriceps, so the middle of the thigh down to the knee, and then the outside. And then you're just gonna continue to do that. So you start inside, all the way down, nice, good self-massage, give it a good release, good squish, middle of the quad. Apply the right amount of pressure that feels right for you than the outside. And you just continue to do that, nice and slowly. So we're giving those muscle tissues and the fascia, the connective tissue, a nice, good release. Okay, last one on the outer part. And then stretch the legs out, hands behind the hips, stretch the legs out and feel the difference between the left and the right quadriceps. Okay, relax the left leg into a bent knee and let's start again, thumbs down the inside. Nice, good squish, apply the right amount of pressure that feels good for you. Then the middle and then thumbs down the outside and you're just continuing to go through that. Inside, middle and outside. And if you've enjoyed this nice quadricep release, if you've really felt the benefit of it, you can say thank you to me. I always do ask this at the end of the video. I wait to the end of the video so I don't annoy you in the middle of the video. But you can say thank you to me simply by pressing the thumbs up or putting thanks for the video in the comments or let me know how it felt for you if you enjoyed this release. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and click the notification bell. I post three videos a week. And you can also share this video if you're feeling extra generous. Shares have brought in lots of people into this community, which I'm massively grateful for. Thank you for your support. And then one last little thing. If you are wanting to go a little bit deeper, a little bit longer, and some different types of series, I do have an online video membership platform where you could join me on that. It is a paid platform. You can go in a little bit deeper in there. You click, click the link in the bio below on my, my website. And if you don't want to do that, you've no obligation. You can continue to get this nice, lovely, free content on YouTube. Okay, we're almost there. Legs out nice and long. Feel the after sensations. Do you feel like you've had a nice quad release? How do they feel? Well done, well done for giving that care, love and attention for your quadriceps. Well done for looking after your body. So many people that don't do enough of this and, you, and, and there's, I'm listening to your comments, there's a lot of people that are realising, just, just started to create this stretching routine and they're like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Why have I not done this before? So well done for doing this work, putting this time and effort into your body and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.